question. should our response be to such things as the David Lammy report? Should we clap with joy and be happy they took our, our things into consideration? It depends on <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, certain space right now. It's um, <clears throat> we're talking about the judges judging, and we have judges, and they judge us, and we don't get justice. So we look at who's going to judge the judge. <clears throat> you like in the body, you, we, where it's for me, it's like when we look on this planet, this planet is like a body. So when you have a body and you have a, an injustice in the body, an infection in the body, the body responds accordingly. Mm. So on the planet, when there's an injustice, that's like an infection. And the planet deals accordingly to the infection. So I'm connecting, when we're talking about the judges and judges, we've got to look at the storms that's gone on the planet. Because we're looking at things and just see storm there, injustice over there, and just, we don't connect the dots. And we're in a society, we're in a world where we think we still believe in Santa Claus and the white man's world is going to be here forever. Mm. As they did in Rome. That's it. So we, mm. so we see all the storms and just think, oh, it's just storms. Oh, it just happens. Just, we just carry on. Mm. We don't see that when we look at history, nations rise and fall. And then you look at history and scripture talks about nations that fall. There were storms and plagues. Yeah. But we're not looking at it properly, what's going on in the world. So when you're seeing these kind of storms and we just think they just happen. It's like we touched on the storms earlier, but we just think they just happen. But Europeans don't look at Europe. Smart Europeans don't look at it like that. I was talking to Trevon earlier that governments have been using the weather as weapons of war. Definitely. Uh, you, you have to enlighten me, help me with that. <laughs> In the Vietnam War, mm. America was, was manipulating the weather to try to prolong the monsoons yeah. in Vietnam, seeding clouds. I have heard that. I yeah. haven't studied that. Yeah, yeah. but uh, okay. And yes. people think that's far-fetched. That can't be done. But actually, there actually is a law in the UN saying, "No countries now we've got to stop messing with. But you can't use weather as weapons." Yeah, weather anymore. weapons. Yes, yes. Why yes. would you have a law like that if that don't happen? Mm. So if you got man looking at using weapons, using the weather as weapons, and we people who believe in the Creator and don't think there's a Creator out there will use. His creation as a tool to get his way. Mm. So when we look at these storms and things like that, and we see the injustice in the world, we got to start connecting dots. It's like you said earlier with the things happen. What you said earlier made a lot of sense. I look at it in the context of the European love that big bang for a big bang, and then you just respond mm, yeah. to mm. the bang. We're not looking at what caused the bang. So storms happen. We just. Oh, What's causing this stuff? They're looking at, they're saying, it's going as far as saying, um, what are they saying? Climate, climate change. change. Climate change. Yeah. Climate change. Such a nice term. Climate <laughs> yeah. change. Climate change of climate. Yeah, which means it really is, it's just a euphemism for, for the fact that they're mashing up the planet. That's it. <laughs> um, you know what I'm saying? But even the way it's saying climate, climate change, change. the climate is changing. Yeah, like, yeah. What yeah. you know what I'm saying? Just happens but actually, yeah. you know, there's yeah. two ways to look at this, though, because mm. some people say that we're destroying the planet, right? But um, And then there's another school of thought that actually says, well, we actually, we can't destroy the planet. The planet will destroy us first. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and and as, as Brother was saying, in terms of the fact that looking at a disease, and if we, if we, if we are in the consciousness mm. of making ourselves a disease mm. in Mother Nature, Mother That's Nature right. will find a way right. to extract us. Yes. Exactly. Do you know what I'm saying? If we're not harmonizing with her, yes. you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's just a reality of the situation. Do you know exactly. what I'm saying? And, and exactly. I think it's very, very linked in terms of the injustices that we see uh, in terms of criminal injustice um, and the planet and these kinds of things. And, I, and this is why. You know, when we we as a people are so blessed because we have answers to this. Yeah, yeah. In in our in our whole, you know, 
our history and our culture hmm. we're a nature based people mm. right. and so this coming from that perspective you know like you know how much problems we solve just by being nature based hmm. yeah. just by having a concern yes, from right. the for, for the, our hmm. environment hmm. as just a, a a prerequisite of who we are hmm. as you know our culture it's not something that we have a, we, don't, we don't have to have a go green campaign <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> to know that the sea is important yes. you know what I mean yeah. you know what I mean yeah. like something that we, we can't just cut down every tree you know what I'm saying like we don't need you know what I mean we don't need a, we don't need millions of dollars of must campaign to do these things. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just in our t- it's yeah. in our things. You know what I'm saying? Like, oil in the sea. Yeah, you know what I mean. You know, what yeah. I mean? we don't need them something. Yeah, there. Okay. Let's let's not build a nuclear bomb. You know what I mean? Like, you know, look, yeah. it's just common sense for I and I. You get me? So yeah, Love very important. That. We just realised that. You know what I mean? So because what happened? Like on, I don't know if y'all were aware, but Minister Farrakhan was speaking on the 20th of August, and actually mm. one of his points when he mm. finished was. Watch the weather, mm. and he's he's known like he's saying that. Minister Farquhar has been saying that for quite for a some while, time, and, yeah. whenever, and whenever he say it, <laughs> yeah. like they had another. I saw a YouTube video where they yeah. was like putting the dates that he says watch the weather, yeah. and when watch the weather, right, 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 because. Right. because nature itself as you said yes. must answer the question and it's yes. not injustice doesn't last forever no. like you said they yeah. thought Rome was going to last forever yeah. thought Pompeii was going to last forever and mm. we know of mm. many civilizations yeah. has this one reached the end of its time because you know if the news is anything to believe and some of the stuff we're, we're going to be talking a little bit later about um gender neutrality in school uniforms and yeah, yeah, yeah. like you know now it's like I don't even know where this this society is going, if the truth be told. We're going to be joined, if we're lucky, by our young, highly qualified social worker um, in a few moments. But we'll we'll see how we go. But we'll get into that. The the situation as it stands with the um, how what we're going through now with the hurricanes and um, the injustice that we're seeing. Do you all see? Where do you see the change coming from in this society? I know we're talking about the hurricanes there, but in England, where do you see the changes coming from? Well, um, in terms of the change, what do you mean exactly by the changes? Do you see us responding? If we're the body, how do we respond to such things? That's, a, that's tough. I mean, from if you, it's difficult. I'm trying to think of how to how to address it properly. But if you if you think about the, the changes that are going, I think it's just the hurricanes and stuff that's happened over there. I think the whole society, really, if you study it, is coming down. When from where from you could begin with the education system to the healthcare mm. system, everything is kind of unraveling. Like even people, people are more unhappy That's now right. than they were totally. thirty, That's forty true. years ago. Mm-hmm. So it's like you can already see it happening when you look at the family structure. You talk, about, it's just every facet of the society you can see kind of unraveling, and that's why it's like more and more. The more people I speak to. I'm finding a lot of the conversations I have with people, people are talking about moving somewhere else, like they don't want to mm, be here no true, more. Very true, and it's, very it's, true. it's become so common now, it's just like, this is like, get your money and get out. Do you know, I was, I was trying to lead to that point, so I'm glad you said it. <laughs> because I, I have just come to the conclusion for myself, and I'm just asking, is there anyone else seeing it like that? Like, isn't it like time we start, you know, Pensioning a particular date yeah, <laughs> that yeah, we're going to yeah. head to the who airport. Who wants to raise children in this country? Because really? to raise children in right, this country, this yeah. is how I felt when I saw that gender gender neutral thing, mm. and we're getting rid of like like the uniforms because boys might want to wear skirts, mm. um, and we don't want the girls to have a certain feeling of inferiority if they have to wear skirts. So we don't call everything neutral. Mm. Take the labels out the clothes. Mm. You just close your eyes, grab one, and I you that. Yeah, yeah. like. Yeah. Okay, cool. Everybody's entitled. Like, I believe in free will. Yeah, like, I yeah, really yeah. believe everybody should be free to yeah. express themselves yeah. how they feel. Yeah. I need to express myself elsewhere. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I need yeah, to, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I just feel like it's time to get out. Am I the only one? Like, David, are you planning to be here for any long period of time? Um, no, but you, you said something earlier mm. about free will, mm. which is important. Because people might misunderstand that. Because you can have a cat kitten has a free will mm. but who is his influences around it <laughs> Good. If, saying, if there's a dog it's his teacher telling him you gotta bark you have to be this way and the dog the cat might just say oh naturally I'll be that way yeah, so man. it's not as individuals 
we've got to look at who are, who, what's their environment. Yes, sir. Yes. Who's influencing our so-called free will? Yeah. And I guess it's our lack of control of yeah. said environment that puts us in, yeah. in, a, yeah. Con- yeah. in a situation. 